And a very good afternoon from me to you. A.B. de Villiers has retired from all international cricket with immediate effect. The 34-year-old announced the news on his own app on Wednesday, posting a video to his followers. He said the decision was a hard one to make. This comes ahead of next year's World Cup. It was his dream to win the World Cup. Uh, de Villiers is one of the greatest players to have represented South Africa, having played 114 tests, 228 one-day internationals, ODIs and, of course, uh, 78 T20 internationals. He has scored a number of records, including the world record for the fastest ODI, 50 to 60 balls, fastest century with 31 balls. De Villiers won the coveted SA Cricketer of the Year Award twice in 2014 and 2015, respectively. And for more on this, we're now joined on the line by cricket commentator Hussein Manak. Hussein, good afternoon to you. Um, A.B. de Villiers has obviously wanted to win the World Cup, being a part of the Proteas for uh, such a long time, having, you know, really set the bar at the level that he set. It certainly come as a shock to a lot of people, and I suspect to Cricket South Africa as well, that he's come out to resign from international cricket. Good afternoon, Paul. How are you doing? I'm fantastic, Hussein. Wonderful. Yeah, you're right. I, I think it's come as, as a surprise to all of us um, at Cricket South Africa and uh, particularly us also, who, um, you know, who are sports lovers, the public and everybody. And as you rightly say that heading towards the World Cup next year, it is a massive blow. And I think because he is one of the most senior players, but if you, if you go through those records that you spoke about, he's such a phenomenal player. He's a match winner. So I think... When you start looking at who are the major players going into that World Cup, certainly A.V. De Villiers would stand out because he's the number two ODI player in the world. Uh, but I think, you know, Paul, in the end, what you felt was coming over a period of time was the fact that he's got a young family. Um, you know, he was spending a lot of time on the road traveling. He just spent about five or six weeks in India during the IPL, and that's never easy because of the hustle, the bustle. And you just, you know, traveling... To, to the, I think to the layman, traveling and living out of a suitcase seems kind of glamorous when you travel around the world. But I must tell you, it's, it's hard work, and especially when you've got a young family uh, and you want to start spending quality time with the kids and, uh, and your wife and your family. I think it's been taking a toll on him for a while. So we've been kind of almost seeing the signs over a period of time. He had two phenomenal, I mean, not two, but two phenomenal series now against India and Australia. And you sense, you almost get a feeling that at the end of that Australian Test Series, perhaps he was going to just continue playing beyond 2019. So I think that's why it probably comes as a bit of a surprise. And so, Hussein, looking forward as we head into that World Cup, is Cricket South Africa prepared? Are they doing enough to groom other players to take the leadership position? And, uh, you know, do you think South Africa will produce the result that it so badly wants to win the World Cup? You look, I mean, the, the World Cup, um, as we all know, that's the monkey on the back and that's the big one that I think all South African fans would like to see. South Africa have a phenomenal record. Uh, when it comes to bilateral series, and if you look at our rankings, um, you know, test rankings, ODI rankings, T20 rankings, been phenomenal. But really, the big one is that World Cup. So, you know, with Otis Gibson there and Faf Du Plessis, I'm very confident that I think we've got two leaders there who are really exceptional. Linda Zondi, who's a convener of selectors. Um, and then you look at the team. So I think they've, they've been putting together the Vision 2019. Um, of course, AB De Villiers would have been part of that. But, you know, for me, in the end, I think uh, when one door closes, there's always opportunities that open up for other players. There's plenty of young, talented players you spoke about. Um, are Cricket South Africa doing? And yes, the answer to that would be a definite yes, that there are a lot of very, very talented young cricketers coming. And this is probably the opportunity that they're waiting for. Remember, it was um, 10, 15, 20 years ago when you had a young Hashim Amla and a young A.B. De Villiers and a Fak Duplessis and a young Dale Stain and those guys. Um, you know, making their debuts in these international platforms and, and, and tournaments. And uh, this just may be an opportunity for another young, talented batsman uh, to come through and perform at the interna on the international stage. And uh, who knows, it may just be a blessing in disguise in the end, as much as uh, A.B. De Villiers is uh, one of the greatest players that ever played the game. 
Now, lastly, Hussein, I mean, looking at that record, 114 tests, 228 ODIs, 78 T20Is. I mean, we could go on and on and on. AB de Villiers has certainly come full circle. Just top of mind, Hussein, one or two memories um, that you remember having observed and watched and been a part of this gentleman's game for over a decade. What are some of the moments that stick out for you, the AB moments that made people all over the world simply fall in love with him? Yeah, okay. I mean, there's, um, there were, of course, a few that stand out. That ODI 50 of 16 balls, uh, the 100 of 31 balls. There was uh, one of them being here at the Wonders against West Indies. And, of course, West Indies had a weak attack. But I must say, for me, the one inning that really stands out was uh, the one in Port Elizabeth now against Australia. And, and the reason I say that is because at the end of the day's play, I sent AB an SMS and I said to him, um, AB, for me, this was the best, Test innings I've ever seen in my life, and I've watched a hell of a lot of cricket over the last 15 to 20 years. And uh, he was quite humbled by the comment, and, and uh, for me that was um, definitely the truth. It was a most phenomenal innings because not only because he got a hundred, but because of the way he went about um, compiling the hundred. It was under pressure; the team were under pressure. The ball was reverse swing, and remember, it was the test after that at Newlands when. South Africa, when the Australian bowlers got exposed with the whole sandpaper scandal. So at Port Elizabeth, at St. George's Park, the ball was reverse swinging prodigiously. And what had happened is all the other batsmen were struggling, but A.B. de Villiers was the one standout and made it look so easy against really, really tough bowlers, uh, world-class bowlers. And uh, for me, that was the standout innings and one of the best test innings, not only his played, but one of the test innings, uh, best test innings I've ever seen um, in my life. And of course, Hussein, that catch the other day that made us all believe he's a superhero. Oh, yeah. I mean, look, he's, he's been a phenomenal field over the years, hasn't he? So, so he'll, be, he'll be missed in the field. Um, you know, he's had uh, moments, has been, of course, World Cups, uh, ups and downs. There was, I was in Auckland. Uh, with the South African team um, during the last World Cup when uh, South Africa got knocked out against New Zealand. And, and that was, uh, um, was a tragic moment in many ways because, you know, I met him the next morning at breakfast and you could see there were tears. And, and so there's been lots of highs and lots of uh, lows. And cricket does that to you. you know? Cricket is a game of highs and lows. Uh, it can bring out the best. It can bring out the worst. There's lots of defeats, disappointments, failures. And that's why it's such a tough game to play and to play over a period of time. So, you know, when you come and look at things from that perspective, I think many South Africans will, be, will feel a little let down, may feel a bit disappointed that, you know, uh, why is AB doing this before the World Cup when he's playing such great cricket at the moment? And he is. Um, I mean, my comment to him was that, you know, I think you're playing the best cricket of your life at the moment because... You are playing all around the wicket. You've got a more rounded game. And, of course, you, you're scoring runs under pressure. Uh, but in the end, it's just about, you know, how much can you take, how much pressure uh, emotionally, mentally, psychologically, and also physically because it does weigh you down when you travel around the world uh, playing cricket all the time, living out of the suitcase. So I do feel for him. I do feel for the players who are on the circuit at the moment. It's not as glamorous and as easy as it looks. But uh, I think he'll definitely be must, um, uh, especially when it comes to an entertainment perspective for South African crowds. Hussein, thank you very much for your time this afternoon. That is cricket uh, analyst and commentator Hussein Manak speaking to us about uh, the resignation of A.B. de Villis. He made that announcement earlier on today.